Massachusetts National Guard troops trained to work in hospitals and medical centers to help ease the burden that staffing shortages have put on health care workers of late. New at 6, WBZ's Louisa Moeller gives us a closer look at what they'll be doing in one hospital when they arrive tomorrow. You want to put your right hand over this hand over here. There's an effort to breathe new life into the Commonwealth's struggling health care system, and it comes dressed in camouflage uniforms. There you go. Over the next 90 days, roughly 500 members of the Massachusetts National Guard will take on non clinical jobs to help overburdened health care workers. On Tuesday, 14 of them brushed up on CPR training at Brewster Ambulance. So we're going to be really operating the ambulance, helping with loading the stretcher in, moving patients from one bed to another, that sort of thing. That means soldiers like specialist Paul Nigro will help add three to four ambulances a day to Brewster's 100 ambulance rotation. Their skills put to the test starting Wednesday. And it's unprecedented what we've been doing. I'm very happy that we can continue to do the mission like this. Their mission here is the result of a three-part problem. A shortage of EMTs, longer drive times to the hospital, and an influx of sick patients, COVID and non. At Emerson Hospital, what's unprecedented is the number of patients coming through the door. Um, and it's from, you know, people that are just coming in really acutely ill or people that have delayed care for a period of time. That's why five National Guardsmen will push stretchers here starting tomorrow. I do like transporting patients, being at the front desk um, to help with patient and family flow. Chief Nursing Officer Mark Manfeld says his exhausted staff will take the help. They're going through a really tough time right now. This is emotionally challenging. It's the third wave they've gone through, and they are getting tired. 55 hospitals statewide started receiving the Guard's help on Monday. In Concord, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. All right, Louisa.